Hello, this is Ronnie Odom with Navigate Housing. Thank you for joining me today on Wednesday's Wisdom. Today we're going to talk about the medical expense deduction. In order to qualify for a medical expense deduction, the family has to be deemed an elderly or disabled family. And then once they're deemed an elderly or disabled family, everyone's medical expenses count toward the family's medical expenses. It's a family designation, so everyone in the family's medical count. Now, again, like most of the other deductions, we're going to be anticipating what that family's paying over the next 12 months. So if I get all of my wisdom teeth taken out, you don't expect me over the next 12 months to get my wisdom teeth taken out again because there are none left. But if I charge $5,000 on my credit card and I'm paying $100, a month for those wisdom teeth that were taken out, then you can deduct $1,200. Um, you can allow $1,200 as a medical expense. Not only do we anticipate the medical expenses, but they also have to be unreimbursed. And then lastly, the deduction for the deduction. <laughs> there is a 3% threshold, if you will, a 3% threshold you look at the family's annual income, and whatever 3% of their annual income is has to be used up before you can actually then allow an expense as a deduction. So for instance, if 3% of their annual income was $100, and they had medical expenses of $75, in this case, that family will get nothing as a deduction because they did not use up the whole $100. But if the family had $100 as 3% of, um, of their annual income and they had $150 as expenses, then $50 would be their allowable medical expense. Here's an example for you to follow along with me. We have a married elderly couple with annual income of $17,000. Their anticipated unreimbursed medical expenses are $3,500. What is the medical expense deduction? So keeping the rules in mind, which we just went over, we're going to first get the threshold. 3% of their annual income is $510. So we have to use up $510 worth of expenses before we can allow any of the expenses as a deduction. They have $3,500 as their total expenses. We subtract from that the $510, and we're going to be able to allow $2,990 as their medical deduction. I hope that this session was helpful. Thank you for joining me today. Have a nice day.